hi viewers this is sri ramulu so before watching this video please subscribe my channel my channel name is s.s yes space physics okay friends my name is uh, sri ramulu a degree lecturer in physics okay let me start the uh, most important theorem and a lesson so that is a pointing theorem so first let me explain statement of pointing theorem what is the statement amount of amount of field energy passing through unit area of the surface perpendicular to the direction of propagation of energy is called as pointing vector it is a statement so here energy how it is passing through unit area it is passing and perpendicular to the surface suppose if you consider one surface like this and energy has to pass like this okay which energy field energy which field electric field and magnetic field okay and then so how much energy is passing through unit area and perpendicular to the surface that is called pointing vector and this is theorem this theorem is called pointing theorem so pointing vector can be done by p and it is written as p formula is c p is equals to 1 by mu not e cross b or p is equals to e cross h why because b by mu not is equals h only so that is why it, if you write here mu not then it is become h next let me start a derivation in electromagnetic waves e and b or h are perpendicular to each other okay e and b or h they are how they are perpendicular to each other and also perpendicular to the direction of the waves propagating direction of the waves wave propagation okay so they are not only perpendicular to each other and also perpendicular to the propagation direction means in which direction they are traveling right p is a pointing vector so it is p is a p is called pointing vector consider an elementary volume in the form of a rectangular parallelopiped of sides dx dy dz as shown in figure here field energy has to pass through unit area and perpendicular to the surface so here say see this is the substance and its surface is this its area is uh, dz into dy and through this area field energy has to enter has to pass pass and must be perpendicular to its face see it's to this face it is perpendicular the volume of parallelo pipe is dx dy dz so if it is a length it is a breadth it is height height then all the three product is simply volume any two product is area suppose the electromagnetic energy is propagated along x direction here see electromagnetic wave is propagating along x direction see field direction is shown in this direction means along x direction and through the surface this through this face okay now the area perpendicular to the direction of the propagation is dux and dy so it is area perpendicular to the propagation let uh, the electromagnetic energy in this volume is v u so electromagnetic energy which energy is transferring that is denoted by u then the rate of change of energy is this rate of change means for uh, time when for 1 second for 2 second for 3 second for 1 hour 3 hours how much energy is passing so that is want to know we must write it is a do u by do t then it indicates for time for certain amount of time how much energy is passing and minus is attached energy is entering 
I'll see this is equals to through area what I said how this formula has come you know our energy formula is what here change in energy we have taking let it is total energy this energy has to pass through area a let area is not a let me take total area as yes through the small area then ds so energy per area is simply pointing vector bring this d this side p into ds is equals to dou u by dou t you get integrate it then you get total energy so that is why this formula has come like this okay friends how does it comes p is energy per unit area okay area suppose the area is a small small area is there then bring this is this side then p d s is equals to what do u by do t in total if it is small energy if you want to get total energy simply integrate this is and minus is attached because energy is entering negative sign is used to show that energy is entering in the volume so we know that energy density per unit volume in electric field e is given by this u e is equals to 1 by 2 epsilon naught e square energy density per unit volume in magnetic field u b is equals to 1 by 2 mu naught h square okay so it is from electric field it is from magnetic field so that is why these two are em field and the total energy c adding them we got total energy like this now the rate of decrease of energy in volume dv small volume in the small volume energy is also small okay small energy that is a uh, small energy is minus minus is a decreasing energy okay in small areas less uh, energy present minus dou by dou t 1 by 2 epsilon naught e square plus 1 by 2 mu naught h square into dv if you want to get total volume now see total the rate of decrease of energy for whole volume for total volume v is given by simply integrate this equation then you can get total energy let this total energy is as like this in the beginning what we have said total energy is dou u by dou t we have taken see here total energy this is okay so the total energy is written this side okay how we got this total energy here yeah. by diff by taking integration to this taking integration so here integration is taken within the volume dv then we can get total energy throughout the volume v so the total energy is simply minus dou u by dou t okay so let me keep it minus without uh, multiplying without cancelling from max fourth maxwell equation so it is a fourth maxwell equation and uh, if we apply for um, conducting medium then j value is zero then this is uh, if it is zero then this formula written as like this from this dou e by dou t can be written as like this by bringing epsilon naught this side isn't it so let it is equation number three and from third it is from fourth it is from third third is del cross e is equals to minus dou b by dou t okay and a b value is what b is equals to mu naught into h and we write it is minus mu naught dou h by dou t why mu naught is taken outside because it is constant okay and bring mu naught this side and minus also then we get this one let is equation 4 and 3 and equation 3 and 4 substitute in equation 2 see third equation and it is fourth equation in which equation we have to substitute we have to substitute in the equation 2 in this equation where here and here we got just now dou e by dou t and dou h by dou t see here dou e by dou t and from this dou h by dou t yes yes let me substitute okay in the place of it is dou e by dou t here dou h by dou t so like this substituted 
and uh, now what we have to do see here these two are gets cancelled it is plus it is minus become minus yes now integration keep it outside only without changing without doing anything and uh, we can write this equation after cancelling this we got this equation okay now multiply this minus inside if you multiply this become plus and you become minus plus term right first and minus term next right yes written and there is a formula when del cross del dot a cross b is equals to b dot del cross a minus a dot del cross b okay so it is now see it is the formula and see this is a whole in the form of this only this whole in the form of this so in the place of this we can apply this formula once again once again so this uh, whole is in this form so this is equals to what this is and in the place of a and b what we have e and h okay now applied so del dot e h into integration this is okay friends so please understand here only this point is important okay integration is outside is there and it's also written last is but it is totally replaced by this term only this term using gas theorem of divergence using gas theorem of divergence using gas theorem of divergence integral a dot ds is equals to integral del dot dv okay so it is in volume so it is surface is converted into volume and we can vice versa also volume also can be converted into surface now what i am doing it is in volume and let me take a reverse process okay it is we have to take a reverse process reverse means volume we have to convert into area means already this formula is in the form of this then this formula we have to convert into reverse on in terms of ds so volume we have to we have to convert volume into ds okay now see here let it is total a see del dot a del dot a can be written as without a without del a dot ds so it is a is taken so it is a dot ds reverse process okay and this uh, is equals to this one already okay uh, comparing equation one and it is five no uh, it is six i think it is not five it is sixth equation okay so comparing equation one and uh, six it is sixth one and one equation is this one minus do u by dot t is equals to this one is there so see once again what is first equation minus do u by dot t is equals to integral p dot ds same thing minus do u by do t is equals to integral p dot ds in the place of this it is written now compare this integration integration ds ds cancelled in the place of p what you have e cross h is it so p is equals to e cross h or p is equals to in terms of b 1 by epsilon naught into e cross b why because h is equals to b by mu naught so, okay friends this is the pointing theorem and a very very important so go through it slowly and where wherever you didn't understand there stop it and listen again and again okay friends thank you thank you very much